Hello everyone on Norton Academy. Um, this is Dan, your IT administrator. We're going to go ahead and do a little short video on how to add printers, the updated printers that we have created here for Norton to work on your Mac laptops. Um, for the Windows, there's no need to do this because the, the Windows works automatically with our Windows server that is a print server as well. So we have a Mac server which holds all our printers that are in the building and they are all preloaded set up. Now if you do run into a problem feel free to reach out to me and create a ticket through helpdesk at civitasschools.org and so that we can go ahead and get connected and see what the problem was or is that you're unable to obtain the printers. So let's to get started we're going to go to our system preferences which is the bottom center of your dock. If you have removed it from your dock, you want to go ahead to your Apple logo and then scroll down to System Preferences. Once you've gone to System Preferences, you want to go ahead and select on your printers and scanners. You may have existing printers. Uh, it would be advisable to go ahead and remove the existing printers because if you don't remove them and you try to attempt to a print in the future, you would not know if that the printer is the one that's the right one that should be working or not. So if you can go ahead and delete your existing printers, this is my home printer. You can go ahead and leave your home printer. You don't need to delete those. Just the ones that are at Nortown. So we're going to go ahead and delete these. You're just going to select the delete key and then delete printer, press enter, or you want to just go ahead and select it, hit minus, and then select the delete printer. Uh, once you've gone ahead and deleted all the printers that are there, except uh, if you have a home or personal or, or etc., uh, you don't need to delete those. So we're going to go ahead and delete this last one. So now that's done. What you will need to go ahead now is go back, or you can select the show all option, uh, is that now you will need to go ahead to your users and groups. So let's select users and groups. This is my users and groups. These are my users that are logged in. For you, you may have one or two users. Uh, so at this point, you want to, if you do have the lock closed up, you want to have that unlocked. So click to unlock. Enter your current password that you log in with your computer with every day. Once you put that in, the unlock comes up. You want to select right up here where it says login options. Once you select on login options, it gives you a list of information here. Normally by default for teachers uh, would be name and password, automatic log off, log on is off, uh, so that we don't have someone opening your laptop pretending to be someone else or to you to be someone else and uh, getting into your uh, laptop. So these are pretty much normal simple stuff that I have selected for many of you out there. Uh, for this fast user switching, you can actually disable this option. This is only if you have multiple users on your account, which I do here, is multiple users and uh, or multiple needs. So you can go ahead and check the show fast user switching menu. What it basically does is when you have this selected, your name appears at the top right corner. Uh, as you remove it, your name disappears. So you'll basically just select an option as in Apple, then log off. Uh, whereas here, you can have a check mark and you can go here and select the specific account you want to log into. Okay, so let's go on to the next. You want to always have defaulted this option where it says allow network users to log in to the login window. On the older versions of Mac that you may have, uh, may not support this option. But uh, if you do not have this option, you'll still need to meet with me as uh, we will need to upgrade you to the updated operating system. So now we're here at Network Account Server. So here where it says CICS Norton, to the right, you want to select on Edit. In this window, you want to go ahead and select on the plus sign, which we're going to add. And as you type these letters, uh, this sh it should self-populate the information. Uh, then again, this only works, this process video should only work when you're actually on school site of Norton Academy. If you're off school site, this will not work. Any of these procedures or uh, in regards of 
deleting printers will work at home or anywhere else, but to add the printers and add this server to your computer, you will need to actually be in Northtown Academy. Uh, either connected through Wi-Fi or Ethernet cable. So here at the ser server, you want to go ahead and type in NTA, and you you'll see it may self-populate. There you go. So it populates all that information, ODC, O1, and our domain. So once it pops up all this information, uh, this is basically our print server for the Mac. So you want to go ahead and select OK. Uh, this may go through a little process of four or five minutes sometimes, or within a matter of seconds, which appears right now. And you'll be prompted with this message that says the server does not provide a secure connection. So you want to go ahead and continue. And then once that's done, you may be prompted with, which I am prompted with, is a client computer ID and then username and password. So at this point, you would normally go ahead and enter the normal username and password that you log in with your computer every day. And uh, it's, a, it's the same one that you would log into this screen. So here it comes up, it's Tovar. It thinks that I'm Tovar, but I'm not. So we're just going to say Dan. Uh, the name that's associated here is pretty much always preset to what we have it set up. So it would be uh, first initial of your name and then your full last name, whatever it is. Now, if you are prompted with this, you may actually need to see me because as I would need to add this uh, manually and it requires an administrative password beyond the regular administrative password that you have on your computer. So, uh, but if you are not prompted with this, normally you'll just go ahead and select the NTA ODC and which will self-populate. Once you hit OK, it will continue to do an update search path as what it is doing at this present time. Uh, though for myself, as being an administrator, it will prompt me back uh, to using a password. If it doesn't, it should connect automatically like it is right now. So if you run into that problem, don't enter anything for username and password. As you can see, it logged me in and it added it automatically, so which is great. That's exactly what we needed to do. So once we hit done, you want to go ahead and uh, now if you select it, and now down here it says multiple is what it should say. And it should be green because that means you have a great connection. So now we want to go ahead and hit back. Uh, in your printers, you can see it sometimes will automatically download all the printers. So as you can see, earlier I had like two or three, four printers, I deleted them, and now as you can see, all these printers came down. Sometimes it doesn't work immediately, so what you will need to do is hit your Apple logo. Once you add that domain under the users and groups, once you've gone here and added it under the edit option, once you edit it here, add it here, and you want to go ahead and hit done, and then you want to go to start, log off, or log out, and then you would want to log back in, which will allow you to download the printers. Whereas in my case, I'm already your IT administrator, so the printers will be downloaded to me automatically. And then once they're all downloaded, uh, just to go an overview of the printers, it's been renamed, it's a little different than what we had before. So here it says across from 111, which is normally first floor copier, but across from 111. Uh, this is used to be the language copier, but it's actually considered the cross from 116 from the room. Okay, and then you have your two second floor printers, which is number one and number two. As you notice in the room, it's designated with a little uh, white piece of paper of what is one and what is two. The career room. Uh, it has been changed from the, what was it, the community room, which wasn't physically in the community room. It was or in student services. This will be a career room for college career. So uh, for myself, I have access to Emmett's printer. Uh, most of the, the faculty and staff in the school will not have access to uh, Josh Emmett's printer. Here is the gym office if you ever need to print there. Uh, as you can see, it's the original one with the logo and the picture of it. Uh, this is my personal laser jet printer color I have at home. Uh, here is the library, uh, which is already there. 
this is the Mac Lab. This Mac Lab is for room 111 uh, and the first floor. Um, and then you have the main office. I have main office because I have certain rights to access the main office as well as Josh and uh, the Dean's printers. Um, but you would not normally, no one will have access to the main office unless you are a director or unless have provided permission from Jeremy or the main office faculty to go ahead and add those printers. Um, but to add the printer, it's not a manual process. I would have to actually do it on my end so that this printer can appear on your uh, list of when logging in. Uh, your regular music wing, which is right over there by Galagi's office. Uh, the PC Lab, PC Lab 220. Uh, you also have the resource room. Resource room is actually located in the back of the library over in the by Tim's office, but behind him. And then you have Steele's office, which again, uh, most faculty will not have this as this is only needed for directors as well as IT. So if there are any other questions in additional that you wanted to go through or so forth, uh, feel free to reach out and uh, be glad to help out. Create a ticket is always advisable and so I can hopefully reach everyone in a matter of time to go ahead and get these printers and anything else supported for you. So if there's anything else overdue, this is uh, Dan with Norton Academy uh, in how to add printers while adding a server to your computer uh, easily and fundamentally. Have a good day.